Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing amazing. Today's video will be who is currently thinking of you and why. So as per usual, the timestamps will be in the description bar below. And let's just get started here. Okay, starting off with Aries. So let's see if we can figure out their zodiac sign uh, first and then I will clarify the energies. Okay guys, let's see. Who is thinking of Aries? Okay, we have a Leo, so it definitely could be a Leo that has you on their mind. We also have Taurus. Aquarius. And Sagittarius. Okay, so that could definitely be their, um, you know, sun sign, possibly moon or rising. So let's go ahead and figure out why this person is thinking of you. Okay. Why is this person thinking of Aries? We have the Four of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck here. Uh, split the deck and we have the Three of Cups. Okay. This is a very specific message, but the per this person here is thinking of you, Aries, and it's only going to apply to you if you're possibly, um, you know, thinking of uh, or, you know, it is a person who is held back from you because that is what I see here with the Four of Pentacles. So this person is thinking of you because not only are they held back from you, they could be, have some sort of good news that they do want to share with you, okay? This may be someone who has recently accomplished something or they just want to reach out to you, maybe take you out on a date. But the Three of Cups could talk about like a celebration or a milestone. But I do feel like it's someone who's currently held back, but they may want to communicate with you. So let's see here. King of Cups. This person has a lot of emotions for you. This person is thinking of you because they, they're they actually operating from, uh, you know, their heart space here. This may be someone who has like an emotional confession or it's someone who wants to have some sort of a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. Okay, it could definitely be a water sign, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but I feel like this person wants to express how they feel to you. That's mainly what I'm getting here. Um, and then we have the star card, so it definitely could be an Aquarius that uh, has you on their mind. But it's someone who feels like, you know, the bond that they share with you is very healing. They may also feel like it's very special. Now, this is someone who has a lot of hope, a lot of faith in this connection here. So, you know, the fact that we did see the Four of Pentacles, even if they are held back from you, they're holding on to some sort of, you know, um, hope or faith, Nine of Pentacles. This may also be someone who's viewing you as, you know, well off, very self-focused, okay? Um, you're showing up as single at this time, so it could be someone that you have met at a workplace setting, or they just feel like, you know, you're in a very abundant energy, you're doing well on your own, um, very independent here. Your independence is something that this person, uh, you know, may admire. But what I see here, guys, is it's almost like there's like a burning confession or, um, you know, they have been holding, you know, they have been held back, but they also have been keeping their emotions to their self, but they do have a lot of emotions for you that they want to reveal here. King of Cups is being clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. So what I see is this person feels like they were either very slow to tell you uh, how they felt about you or what they wanted moving forward here. But the Knight of Pentacles also lets me know that this person is in a very premeditated energy. Okay, they are reliable because the Knight of Pentacles is a very reliable energy, although they're not trying to jump to conclusions. They're not trying to jump into making a decision here. Instead, they're taking their time, being patient, and kind of going with the flow, if you will. Yeah, Eight of Cups. The star is being clarified by the Queen of Swords. This definitely could be someone that you're in a separation with, someone that you, uh, you know, walked away from, or this person walked away from you. Because when they um, think of you, when they think about the situation with you, they do feel like they had to emotionally detach, whether it was to, you know, get their thoughts, you know, in in, uh, you know, in line here, or you know, for another reason. But they are being reminded of why they detached, or why there was some sort of an emotional gap between the both of you. 
Now, the Queen of Swords, clarifying the star card, lets me know that this person, when they think of you, they may feel like you are a bit upset with them or there's some sort of frustration surrounding, um, you know, the bond at this time. But they may also feel like you're trying your best to detach because the Queen of Swords could let me know that your back is currently turned towards a situation. This person also feels like there's something here that you're seeing a lot more clearly than you did in the past. So they feel like you're not confused, your head is not in the clouds, you're kind of like accepting the reality of a situation here. Nine of Pentacles is being clarified by the Knight of Cups. So yeah, King of Cups, Knight of Cups is someone who wants to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. And Knight of Cups is more so like an emotional, uh, you know, confession. But because we have the Eight of Cups here and the Queen of Swords, this person may also feel like they owe you an apology. They may feel like, okay, I want to express how I feel, yes, but I also want to explain why I walked away or I want to apologize for something that doesn't uh, feel fair. So they don't, there's something here that they don't feel at ease uh, you know, about, you know, pertaining to the situation. Knight of Cups is being clarified by the Eight of Swords. So this is something that they are, um, they have been thinking about for a very long time here. They may have even felt very restricted because of their own thoughts, okay? So it could be someone who is, uh, you know, in a very negative mindset and now they are, you know, trying to figure out what can I do differently or how can I come out of a space of feeling very stuck here. Why the Eight of Swords, the Two of Swords? This may be someone who feels like they were very indecisive or they were in between worlds when they were connecting with you. But what I see now is someone who wants to, you know, uh, be upfront about their emotions. Yes, come forward with their emotions, but also they're wanting to make some sort of a clear uh, decision. And because they're in the process of choosing a direction to go in, th they feel like some sort of communication with you will help them, you know, um, choose a direction or it will help them gain some sort of clarity here. I just send someone who really has an urge to speak to you um, more than, you know, make peace. I'm kind of getting an energy of someone who's like, I just want to lay my emotions out. They feel like they have been very held back with you, but they also feel like they have been up in their mind about you and the situation and they just did not, they just were not vocal about it. So I see that it's someone who wants to just express how they feel. And it's all definitely someone who has been bottling up their emotions for a very long time. But with the King of Cups coming out as a first card, um, you know, this person's mainly thinking of you because they feel very deeply for you, but they want you to know that, or they want to, uh, you know, be more direct about how they feel here. Okay, guys, so that is what I'm getting for you. Uh, moving on to Taurus. Okay, uh, Taurus, so who is thinking of you and why? So let's see if we can figure out their zodiac sign first and then we will clarify with Tarot. Okay, so it could be a Scorpio that has you on their mind. It could be a Capricorn. They could be an Aries here, okay. And we have Sagittarius. Okay, so why is this person thinking of Taurus? Let's see. So your card here wanted to pop out. So they're definitely, you know, thinking of you. They could be thinking about a commitment. Okay. Um, they may feel like this is a, like if this is someone that you're connecting with, they may feel like things are like going to the next level with you, but let's see here. Okay. So we have the 10 of rods on the bottom of the deck, which is the 10 of wands in this deck. And then we have the five of wands. This is a very clear message that this is someone who is thinking of you because you guys are currently not on the same page, okay? This may also be someone who is thinking of you, but they're going through something in their personal life and they may want your support or they want to tell you what's going on. Um, so Taurus, I, you know, with the 10 of wands and the five of wands, it's someone who is going through a very, uh, you know, heavy period here. And, uh, you, you know, it could be, they feel overworked or they feel like there's a lot of responsibilities, um, that they have at this time. 
But with the Five of Wands, they feel like you guys are not on the same page right now. And they also feel that there are a lot of external influences affecting the current bond. So let's see here. Why is this person thinking of Taurus? Ten of Pentacles, wow. Okay. So this could be someone who definitely commitment could be on their mind because the Hierophant did come out and now we're seeing the Ten of Pentacles here. Um, so it is someone who wants to build with you. It is someone who wants to connect with you, but they don't see it as an overnight process. Now, what I'm intuitively feeling is there's something this person wants you to know uh, when it comes to like something that they're battling because as much as we have the ten of pentacles here opening your spread We did have the uh, ten of wands as well as the five of wands So there's something this person's struggling with and I feel like they want to be open about it The chariot some of you could be dealing with the cancer here But with the ten of pentacles as well as the chariot Taurus, this is someone who wants progress Okay, they want things to again they may feel like I'm ready for a commitment or they may feel like I want to better know, um, I want to better learn, you know, Taurus or I want to hang out with Taurus more. I want to speak to Taurus more. They're wanting some sort of progress here. And with the Ten of Pentacles, it's in hopes that you guys can build or attain something together. This person is envisioning having a family with you, having a home with you. Um, you know, they're viewing you as their, you know, be all and all. Nine of Swords. So this person is actually, well, when they think of you, when they think about the situation here, they actually become very stressed out. Um, and the Nine of Swords could be someone who's obviously like losing sleep. It could be a lot of worry. It could even just be unnecessary worry, which I'm going to clarify. But I see a lot of stress surrounding this connection. It's almost like they want progress here. They want things to move forward, but they're also very up in their mind about it. Um, I feel like as of right now, this person could feel that they are doing more um, or, or they're thinking a lot about this connection and it feels kind of like they're on a hamster wheel. So it could be a lot of repetitive thoughts or, uh, you know, they just feel like it's um, the main thing that I'm getting is repetitive thoughts or thinking about one thing, you know, over and over again, where they feel like it's driving them up a wall. The high priestess. Okay. So this may be someone who's currently, uh, you know, being silent with you, but what they intuitively feel here with you, Taurus, is that there's something here that is destined to be. All right, the High Priestess is clarifying the Ten of Pentacles. So this is someone who could um, be thinking about a commitment. Yes, they want to build with you, but it's interesting because they're keeping it to their self. This could also be a Pisces. The Chariot is being clarified by the Two of Cups. This is someone who feels very connected to you. They love you with the Two of Cups, and that's something that they cannot deny. Now, this person feels like they are not your usual type. This person feels, Taurus, that you and them are, um, maybe there's some sort of differences between the both of you, but what I am what I initially received as a download was that they feel like they're, there's something very different about them to you and you're very different to them as well. So this person may feel like, you know, I, I've never really gravitated towards someone like Taurus, but I'm falling for Taurus, you know? There's a difference, um, there's some sort of differences that are being highlighted is what I'm getting at here queen of cups yeah this person has a lot a lot of love for you i just feel like it's someone who has been thinking about you in silence or if they're communicating with you they've just been giving you like just enough to work with right so there could be an energy of them wanting to give you more here um, but mainly what I see, guys, is this person wants to nurture you. They want to be in a connection here. And with the Nine of Swords and the Queen of Cups, it's almost like their emotions are stressing them out because the Nine of Swords is being clarified by the Queen of Cups, right? So that's like being worried or stressed out because of the way that you feel or, uh, you know, feeling like your emotions are stressing you out because you've never felt this way about someone before. So I do feel like this person's emotions are feeling a bit overwhelming to them. But, you know, uh, despite that, they feel very connected to you. They have a lot of love for you. But there's something very different about the connection here. Why is that the fool? They feel like this would require them to build up some sort of courage or it would require them to take a leap of faith so here's what i'm getting taurus this is someone who desires you but they know that it would be a major change in order to pursue a connection with you do they, do they feel like they can attain some sort of stability with you absolutely uh with the ten of pentacles coming out as the first card but they it's almost like an energy of them feeling like they need to adapt or they want to better understand you because they're not used to someone like you is kind of what i'm getting here for some of you this could 
could be new love because we do have the fool card so it could just be that you guys are in the early stages of getting to know each other and this person is kind of like okay you know i feel so deeply or you know my emotions are developing for taurus and it's kind of stressing me out here okay taurus so that is what i'm getting for you guys that is who is thinking of you moving on to gemini okay gemini so who is thinking of you and why so let's start off by seeing if we can figure out their zodiac sign guys and then we can just uh, dive into tarot okay so it could be an aquarius that has you on their mind could be a cancer could be a scorpio and we also have virgo okay so why is this person thinking of gemini So we have the uh, Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck here, split the deck, and we have the Emperor. So this person is thinking of you, but it seems to be a person where you would not expect them to be thinking of you with this Emperor energy coming through. Um, could be an Aries, yeah. Uh, but what I get here is this, this is someone that you've either had some sort of ending with or they feel betrayed or disrespected in one way or another. Okay, Gemini? And with the Emperor here, they're not showing you this. So they're thinking of you. So, it, you know, how I could read it is it's someone who's held back from you or they are not really the most vulnerable person or like they're not open with their um, emotions here. This person is thinking of you and there is an ending or a betrayal that's deeply affecting them, but they're like remaining very composed about it. They want to seem in control here. Um, this may be someone who has like an image to maintain or like I said, they're just not, um, you know, emotionally expressive or they have a hard time doing so. Um, so let's see here. Why is this person thinking of Gemini? The hanged man, yeah. This person is thinking of you because they feel like things are kind of, you know, at a flat line between the both of you right now. I do feel like they're spending a lot of time thinking about you with the hanged man energy, but it's someone who feels like there's a lack of like action or there's there's a lack of progress in this bond at this time. Now, something else I will say, Gemini, is this person is having a shift in perspective about you, about the bond here. There could be something that you have explained to this person in the past that they're now understanding, okay? So it's like realizing something after it has occurred or something, some sort of clarity that they're gaining at this time. So definitely thinking about you and wondering how you feel, right? The hanged man could be when someone is trying to see your perspective on things or trying to figure out how you're feeling or how you're viewing the situation at this time. It could definitely be a Pisces. We have the seven of cups. This person is very confused at this time, Gemini. They don't know how to feel, whether it's they feel like there are mixed signals, whether it's they feel like, um, you know, there's a lack of communication, so they can only guess how you feel. They, because Seven of Cups is emotional confusion, but it could also be someone who's like, I just don't know how to feel. You know, I have emotions for Gemini, but I don't know where this is headed, or I don't know what to think at this time. So what I see here is, um, you know, mixed signals possibly, or some sort of mind games that this person could be thinking of as well. They may feel like uh, the connection with you was very confusing at one point, and then it became at a stand or or it was confusing and then now you guys are at a standstill and they really want to break the silence or they really want to speak to you and see where things are going we have the sun card so for some of you this could be a leo but this person feels like you make them extremely happy but it's just like they're craving some sort of clarity so like this could be someone who's like i really just want to hear from gemini i really just want to know how 
you know, uh, Gemini feels about me or if this situation is going to move forward. It's almost like they, yeah, they're craving or they have like an urge for clarity here. Um, but I will say you make this person very happy and they actually look forward to hearing from you. They actually look forward to speaking to you and hanging out with you here. Okay, the hanged man is being clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. Here's the, here's the thing, Gemini, as much as your person may be uh, someone who is not open or expressive about their emotions, this person's love language may be acts of service or just like there's an energy of them wanting to prove how they feel towards you. It's like they, they're thinking about providing for you, offering you a stable new beginning, offering you something that you would actually want to invest in with the Ace of Pentacles here. So they want a new beginning, but they feel like they need to see your side of things or they, or they want to know your perspective on the situation. Um, because there is some sort of confusion here. So it's interesting. They want a new beginning, but they're confused about what's currently going on. That's why I feel like the blockage may be maybe, uh, maybe a lack of communication. It could be the fact that you guys are speaking, but maybe it's more like surface level. Four of Pentacles. Yeah. So someone here could be held back, whether it's this person, whether it's, uh, you know, your energy, but this may even be someone who has, uh, you know, taken a break to work on their finances or, uh, you know, this could also just be read as like a mentality of lack here. But the main thing they want here is a new beginning and some sort of clarity. So I feel like this person really wants to know how you feel when they think of you, Gemini, they're wondering what you think of them. <laughs> so if you clicked on this reading and you're like, OK, what does this person um, or, or, you know, what are why are they thinking of me? Well, they're thinking of you because they want to know what you think of them. This person's very curious about you, how you feel, your perspective on the situation here. Three of Wands, yeah, they, they feel like there is a future here, but they also feel like they need some sort of clarity. This person may even feel like something requires a plan with the Three of Wands. So, you know, if it's someone that you have history with, they may feel like the first time around they didn't really plan out how things were going to work. And it's not to say that love needs a plan, but this person feels like things were kind of just all over the place and they're wanting to attain more stability in this connection. The sun card is being clarified by the moon. Wow, very powerful connection. This person feels like you're their other half. They feel like you're their other half. You, you know, um, you may even have taught them a lot of things that you're not aware of, but they feel like you're, it's almost like you are their missing puzzle piece. That's kind of what I get with the sun as well as the moon card. But this also lets me know that your person is viewing this connection as one of you being a lot more expressive and being the doer versus the other person being a little bit, uh, you know, timid or, or uh, you know, someone who has a hard time being vulnerable here. So this is someone who has a lot of emotions for you, but I think they're having a hard time uh, you know, opening up when it comes to their uh, emotions here. And then we have the King of Swords. This person may feel like there's something you want to tell them as well, but you're kind of like keeping it to yourself at this time because uh, we have the King of Swords clarifying the moon. So they may feel like you are seeing things clearly. Uh, you know, your head is not in the clouds, but there are certain things that you're keeping to yourself at this time. Again, we have a lot of uh, Piscean energy as well. But I feel like this is someone who does want a new start or does want some sort of progress here because they feel like this connection with you is very, very strong. Although something else that's coming in, uh, you know, very heavily here is they want clarity. They feel like there's a lot of confusion between the both of you. They may feel like there's, uh, you know, like there's they have a lot of questions, uh, you know, for you or they just want to have a conversation where they could feel more at ease here. OK, guys. So that is who is thinking of you. Uh, moving on to Cancer. Okay, Cancer. Who is thinking of you right now and why? So let's see if we can figure out their zodiac sign first, guys. Um, so it could be a Taurus that has you on their mind. We have Gemini. We have Libra. And Virgo. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and figure out why this person is thinking of you.
Wow. Empress on the bottom of the deck here, Cancer. So this is someone who's very attracted to you. They're thinking of you as pretty much the entire package. They're viewing you as someone who, you know, you have it going on here. Uh, split the deck and we have the Eight of Cups. Okay. It's kind of like two, it's, it's almost like um, two extremes or like uh, sometimes when they think about the bond with you, they feel like, you know, there's some sort of potential or there's some sort, sort of growth. And then sometimes when they think of you, they're reminded of why there's some sort of delay or separation here. For some of you, this is someone who's thinking about you because they feel like you've walked away from the situation because you know your worth. They could be thinking about you because they feel like you fully emotionally detached and you're no longer invested in this connection as much as you once were. Uh, definitely could be a Libra or a Taurus, possibly another water sign. So a Cancer like yourself, Pisces or Scorpio. Okay, let's see. Page of Wands, okay. Something about you is very exciting to this person. Like they may feel like there's always something new in your life or you're always embarking in a new journey. Or it could just be that they, you know, feel very excited or they feel some sort of excitement when it comes to communicating with you. But when they think of you, like they feel very passionate. They also feel, um, you know, very excited here. And it could be someone who's, who, you know, reaching out to you. The pages in the deck could be, uh, you know, considered messengers. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. This person is thinking of, well, when they think of you or when they think of the situation, they do think of, you know, communicating with you. They do think about a conversation. They feel like when they do converse with you, it's, it's you know, it's a great time. But they may feel like you're more focused on work at this time with the Eight of Pentacles. They may view you as someone where, okay, Cancer is just focused on their career. Uh, you know, they're focused on something that is progressing for them. Seven of Swords, okay. This person may also be making some sort of assumptions about you, okay, guys? This person may feel like you are, um, you know, kind of in a strategic energy or there's something going on behind the scenes that you're not really, uh, you know, bringing to the forefront here, okay? Now, I could read it two ways. It could be someone who's feeling like there's some sort of sneaky behavior on your end or they are, you know, guilty of some sort of sneaky behavior. So take it how it resonates here, guys. But mainly what I'm getting is... The fact that you're not really telling this person what's going on or you're not publicizing your every move, they're really curious as to what you're up to. They're really, they feel like you're, like something is happening for you or maybe, uh, you know, you, you know, things are like whatever is happening for you, you're not open about it. And it's raising some sort of assumption on your person's end here is what I see. Okay. So the page of wands is being clarified by the six of wands. This person really wants your attention, Cancer. Like this may even be someone who wants to reach out to you with like a fun message or like invite you somewhere um, because with the six of wands, they're like, I want to make cancer happy, but I really want cancer to pay attention to me. But I don't know if that's realistic because it seems that cancer is more focused on their, uh, you know, career and just keeping to their self. They also view you as someone who is um, like, there's something that you're being secretive about is again, guys, this is what they're thinking. It doesn't make it true, but they feel like there's something that you're being a bit secretive about. Two of swords. Okay. So this person may also feel like there's something that they're not seeing clearly. Again, it could be that they feel there's a lack of communication or, you know, there's an energy of them feeling like they just want to um, know what's going on or, or, you know, gain some clarity from you uh, through a conversation here. But with the two of swords, this could be an individual who feels like they're in between worlds. They're trying to make a decision. They're trying to choose a direction to go in, but they feel so confused. They feel like there's like a missing piece or they feel like there's something they need to know in order to, um, you know, choose a direction here. Okay, so the missing piece might be a conversation with you. Uh, we have the King of Cups here. This is someone who has a lot of love for you. Okay, um, yeah, Nine of Cups. This person is viewing you as wish fulfillment, but this is also someone who's trying to be like very grounded about the situation. So the best way that I could um, ex uh, explain this energy is, yes, they're thinking of you. Yes, they feel very deeply for you, but... They're taking more of a grounded approach or more of a realistic approach because they feel like your focus is not on them as much as it used to be, or they feel like the um, it's it's like unrequited love or it's like an energy of 
um, you know, I'm focusing on the situation and I'm uh, focusing on cancer a lot more than they're focusing on me. So I do see like a someone kind of taking a few steps back here or being like, okay, I need to approach this in more of a logical way. But I do see with the King of Cups and Nine of Cups, this person views you as wish fulfillment. They feel like you are who makes them happy. You are their person. What's the Seven of Swords, the death card? For some of you, this person could be thinking of you because you they may feel exposed in one way or another. Yeah, because the Seven of Swords is being clarified by the death card, which means this person may be like when they think of you, they feel like you put an end to a situation with them because you no longer trusted what they were saying or you no longer trusted their actions, right? So something here wasn't aligning and this person may feel like you were able to figure them out or figure out something they were trying to keep hidden from you and it caused you to just completely put an end to the situation here. A part of this person feels when they think of you, there's something that doesn't feel realistic because with the death card, they feel a lot has changed. So the death card could be transformation. This could be someone who feels like you guys had, you know, a falling out and they don't feel like you're going to return or they don't feel like they're going to receive the opportunity to reconcile with you here. Could be a Scorpio. Yeah, we have Gemini energy with the lovers and the two of wands. This is like kind of like screaming decision at me, you know, like this is someone who's trying to make a decision, make a choice, but they feel like they can't do that without knowing your side of the story or they feel like they can't do that because, um, you know, there's like a lack of communication, a lack of clarity is mainly what I'm getting here. They feel stuck, but like the best way for me to explain it, guys, is like they do feel for you, but they feel something is not realistic about that so it could be like someone who thinks of you they're like oh i adore cancer but then it's like i don't really think cancer and i are going to speak again so why would i continue focusing on this i'm only going to hurt myself that's kind of what i'm getting here guys okay so that is who is thinking of you um moving on to leo okay leo so who is thinking of you and why so Let's start off by seeing if we can figure out their uh, zodiac sign here. So it could be a Sagittarius that has you on their mind. We have Leo, so some of you could be involved with another Leo. We have Taurus, okay. And Pisces, okay. So let's go ahead and figure out why this person is thinking of you. Seven of Pentacles, okay? So they're definitely thinking of you in a very observant energy, okay? There could be some sort of um, like they're waiting for a sign from you or they're waiting for the right time or maybe I'm just picking up on like some sort of a waiting game. Split the deck and we have the Knight of Cups. This person wants to express how they feel towards you, but it may be something that's very unexpected or they already have expressed how they um, feel towards you, but it's something that you were not expecting. Like whether you, you did not expect it from this person at all or you just you, you knew they had emotions, but you weren't expecting them to open up. That's what I see here. And as much as they're opening up to you, it's something that they have spent a lot of time thinking about prior to, you know, like formulating a message or, you know, reaching out here. So let's see. Seven of Swords. I can read this two ways. This could be someone who feels like you're currently, you know, keeping something away from them, or they could feel some sort of guilt for keeping you in the dark about something. We're going to clarify that energy here, but this is also someone who may feel like they can't really put a finger on what you're up to or how you're feeling. Um, again, they may actually feel like you're keeping something hidden from them. It doesn't make it true, Leo, but this is what they're thinking. This is their perception. Ace of Cups. For some of you, there's a new beginning or this person wants to be open about their uh, you know, emotions here, but there's some sort of a plan that they're creating. I don't really see it as negative because the next card is the Ace of Cups, but it's almost like either you don't expect this person to come forward or 
you know, uh, they're being very strategic in terms of like uh, taking a step by step process on, on how they want things to occur or how they're going to, you know, go about things here. And the King of Cups, yeah. This seems to be more of like an emotional confession, uh, could be new love, okay? But for some of you, it's like they're, this person may feel like you don't trust them or they feel a little bit uneasy about the situation right now. Like they have emotions for you, but even though it's like it feels pretty new here, they may have a lot of questions or like they're still in the early stages of getting to know you where they're like, okay, well, I don't really know what Leo's up to or I don't really know where this connection is headed, so I don't want to get my hopes up. What is the Seven of Swords, the Ten of Swords? Some of you could have recently, um, you know, had some sort of an ending, whether it was, again, if it's not someone who's new, it could be someone that you weren't really able to be in a connection with or you weren't really able to get things off the ground here. But there could have definitely been a painful ending, whether it was with this person or, you know, on your own. And this person may be aware of that. Yeah. You know what I'm getting here, Leo? There's some sort of change that this person has finally made and it is making them want to come towards you or they feel more at ease. They they feel less restricted because with the Ten of Swords and the Judgment, there has been some sort of a betrayal or change, but they feel like it was much needed. So it was like a blessing in disguise. So take it how it resonates. It may be a change that occurred between the both of you or it could be that they made a change in their personal life, which is making them feel less restricted in this connection with you. Uh, we have Scorpio energy, Eight of Pentacles. This is someone who wants to work on a connection with you. That's what I see. It could be someone who, uh, or someone that you've met at work. But when they think of you, they think about proving how they feel towards you through practical effort. I don't feel like it's someone who is the most vocal, maybe about you know saying things like "I love you" or "I want to be with you." But it's someone who wants to like provide for you or uh, you know. Um, like they want some sort of stability with you, but I see them as like a provider or wanting to prove that through other ways, um, you know, aside from just, you know, telling you how they feel here. Yeah, nine of pentacles. Why the nine of pentacles? The moon. Here's what I'm getting, guys. This person has been, they have a lot of deep emotions for you, but they may feel like a lone wolf or they feel like they have been on their own for a very long time where it's taking them a while to open up to you emotionally. And this is also someone who may be battling some sort of trust issues where it's like, um, you know, whether it's they went through a tough past or whether it's they had to heal from some sort of betrayal. And now they're taking their time with uh, you and the connection here. But it's like, I'll be completely honest, they have emotions for you, but they don't really trust the situation as of right now. You're going to know the situation better than I will. But it's someone who's like, okay, I have been on my own for a while. I have been keeping to myself for a while, but I am intrigued by, by Leo. I do have emotions for Leo. I just want to know more. Okay, King of Cups is being clarified by the Two of Swords. Yeah, like this person's connecting with you, but there is not really a firm decision being made as of yet. That's why I feel like for some of you, this could be very like fairly new or it's someone you're reconnecting with, but they still want to kind of uh, feel out what's going on or they or they feel like there's still more information that they want to know about you and where you stand before they make a firm decision because they're kind of looking at the connection as I have emotions for Leo, but something is still a bit blurry here. Two of Swords, okay, Eight of Swords, and the Empress, yeah. I, I mean, they see potential, guys, for sure, with the Empress. They hold you on a very high pedestal, but I think that this is someone who, um, again, just wants to speak to you more. Maybe they want you to open up a little more. They may sense that you have some sort of a guard up, but with the Two of Swords and the Eight of Swords, it lets me know that what is causing them to feel restricted is... Um, you know, some sort of indecision or feeling like, okay, I am, I do have emotions, but why do I not trust the situation? Again, it doesn't mean that you have to be doing something to betray their trust, right? It could just be someone where it's, this is what's going on in their mind because the sword's energy boils down to more of a mental energy. So this could, this could just be unnecessary worry or someone who's up in their mind thinking, um, you know, the worst case scenario or, or, you know, just, wondering, you know, where is this actually headed? Because I see someone who is viewing this connection as it has a lot of potential. I have a lot of love for Leo, but I want to know more. That's pretty much what I'm getting here. Okay, guys. So moving on to Virgo.
Okay, Virgo, let's see. So I'm gonna start off by seeing if I can figure out their uh, zodiac sign first and then we'll figure out why they are thinking of you, okay? Uh, so who is thinking of Virgo? It could be a Pisces that has you on their mind. Could be a Leo that has you on their mind. We have Scorpio. And Aquarius, okay. So let's see, why is this person thinking of Virgo? Two of Wands, okay. Split the deck, we have the Seven of Wands. This is someone who's thinking about um, like a future with you, right? The Two of Wands is more so about like planning for the future, but it's interesting we have the Seven of Wands. This could be someone who's currently like feeling a bit defensive about something or they're like, it doesn't have to be that they're hiding something from you, but it could be that they're not ready to speak about something or like the word that I'm getting here is defensive, but let's see. Hmm. Because with the Two of Wands, they're thinking about the future with you. They're thinking about, you know, where this connection is headed. But if it's not about them being defensive, this could be someone who has a guard up or they are very slow to open up here. Could definitely be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Why is this person thinking of Virgo? Okay, Ace of Wands. This is someone who's thinking about a new beginning with you. I mean, you know, this could just mean that it's uh, completely new love here, but we're gonna clarify this energy. But I see that this is someone who feels um, almost like a burst of excitement or joy when they are, you know, connecting with you here. And there's something very exciting about this opportunity that they feel like is presenting itself to them. So this could be an opportunity to, you know, hang out with you. This could be an opportunity to, you know, introduce more consistency and a connection with you. So the next card, we have the Magician, okay? And the Knight of Swords, okay? You don't expect communication from this person or something about this person is very different. Like, Maybe you feel like this is not an individual that is your usual type here. But with the magician, it seems that this person is viewing you as someone that they have manifested, almost like a dream partner. This person also feels very in control of the situation. Like they may feel like the ball is in their court or they feel like, um, you know, if they were to communicate with you or if they were to tell you how they feel, then it would create some sort of like a shift in this dynamic. So I don't feel like it's someone who doesn't know what to do. I feel like they're very well aware of what to do here. But with the Knight of Swords, that's more like a rushing in energy. So it could be very abrupt or unexpected communication here. Um, but I do see them wanting to pursue you at almost like a very fast pace because we have the Ace of Wands as well as the Knight of Swords. Temperance, wow. So some of you, this could be a Sagittarius, but this person feels like you guys work very well together. Six of Swords, you bring them a lot of peace. But this could be someone who is like moving closer to you, like quite literally they are they are relocating. Or it's someone who feels like maybe things are happening very quickly between the both of you. And as much as there's a lot of excitement there, they may want to kind of slow their roll or they want to move to a place where you guys can be open and honest with each other without it feeling like um, things are being forced or rushed. Like that's kind of the energy that I'm getting here. Like someone being very patient. And again, if this is not new love, guys, Six of Swords could also be someone who wants to make peace with you, especially with the temperance as well. Someone who's like, okay, you know, let's talk about what we, what is bothering us so that we can move past it. Um, there's, or there could be an obstacle here that they feel like you guys kind of have been stuck on for a while and they want to, you know, discuss that. Yeah. Eight of wands. So some of you are already communicating with this person as you're watching my read, or you're about to receive communication. Eight of wands, knight of swords, very unexpected. Also a lot of passionate communication. So I feel like this person will make it very known how they feel towards you. Ace of swords. Yeah. Ace of wands, ace of swords. 
This seems more like new love though, Virgo. It seems like new love, but it's like the, the reason why I'm kind of thrown off is like you don't expect it. So I wonder if it's like a secret admirer energy or you're connecting with someone, uh, you know, you're communicating with them, but you don't expect them to just, you know, pour out their emotions or tell you that this is what they're looking for here. But what I see is the communication coming in for you guys is going to bring you a lot of clarity. You're going to know where you stand with this person or what they want moving forward. I see this person being very open with you. Knight of Swords being clarified by the King of Swords. Yeah, trying to approach things in more of a um, logical manner. So they do have emotions for you. They do feel like you guys would work very well together. But this person will communicate with you in more of like a... Like, even though it's coming from, you know, a hard space, it's more like, okay, let's just be realistic. Like, we, you know, I have emotions for you. This is how I feel. This is what I want moving forward. I don't really see it as like an emotional outpour. It's more so someone just being truthful about their emotions and just laying it out on the table um, and, and more so telling you what they want moving forward. Because they see a future with you and they're just trying to take more of a realistic or I should say grounded approach here. King of Swords is being clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, that's a grounded approach. That, that's a very reliable energy, although it's not impulsive at all. So some of you are connecting with someone right now. You're speaking to them, and it could be fairly new. Maybe you, you know, you're kind of like it's um, throwing you off a bit, or you did not expect this person to have emotions for you. Maybe you did not expect to have emotions for them, but things are moving like there's a lot of excitement there's a there's an urge to you know uh on your on this person's end like okay i want to speed things up but they also feel like they don't want to move too quickly um and they want to be premeditated and not doing any and not do anything impulsively because they don't want to mess anything up with you i see this as a very reliable energy but i could also see how this person may come off as like sometimes you may wonder like does this person like me the way that they say they do or does this person you know, really like me to that extent, but it just seems to be someone who's very like reliable, realistic, grounded. Their head's not really in the clouds. Um, I don't really see it as someone who's going to like love bomb you. Uh, you know, it's it's more like you're they're going to make it known that they have an interest in you. It's just their approach is not as extreme, even though that's how they're feeling. So like they feel a lot of excitement, they want a lot of progress here, but they're like, I need to slow things down a bit or, um, you know, I want to be very careful with my approach and do things the right way. So that's what I see here for you guys. Um, moving on to Libra. Okay, Libra. So who is thinking of you and why? Let's see. So I'm going to start off by seeing if I can figure out their zodiac sign here. Okay, so we have Capricorn. So it definitely could be a Capricorn that's thinking of you. We have Aries. Uh, we have Virgo. And we have Leo. Okay. So why is this person thinking of my Libra? Let's see. Seven of Wands, okay, bottom of the deck. Split the deck, we have the Queen of Swords. It's interesting because the Seven of Wands doesn't, it's not really like a missing energy. It's more so like, uh, you know, uh, someone who has a guard up or um, someone who's feeling a bit defensive. But what I'm intuitively feeling is this is someone who's thinking of you because they miss you. That's the initial download that I received when I, uh, when this card came up here. And with the Queen of Swords, this may be someone that, you know, you're not really communicating with as of right now. Like you're not, you're not communicating with them. Or there's an energy of you being a bit detached because that's how they're viewing you. They're viewing you as, um, you know, a bit detached, maybe giving them the cold shoulder at this time. Let's see. Because I'm getting an energy of this person thinking of you and missing you, but they feel like you're kind of on guard or you know you're you're uh, a bit detached at this time is what i'm getting so let's see three of cups okay 
So this could be someone who has some sort of good news that they want to share with you. This could be, this could just be that they want to like take you out. You know, this could be, um, you know, a card of like going out or celebrating something together. And then we have the page of swords. Yeah, it seems to be that this is someone that you're not communicating with because what I see is when they think of you, they're curious about you, but they feel like they can't directly communicate with you. So whether it's there's quite literally a blocked um, like energy between the both of you or this person is just um, choosing to keep tabs on you or spy on you instead of <clears throat> like directly reaching out to you or speaking to you. It's almost like this person senses that you're upset with them or frustrated with them. I don't know why I'm getting that. Like they, like when they think of you, they're like, they don't, <clears throat> excuse me, they don't like the way that um, they feel because they feel like you are not, um, you know, happy with them. They feel like you're upset with them. There's some sort of frustration here. And like, again, if it's not like you have this person blocked, they may just be fearing your response or they don't know how to, uh, you know, start a conversation. They may be expecting, you know, the worst case scenario here, three of wands. So double, th uh, double threes here. This is a very specific download, Libra, but this seems to be someone who's at a distance from you. Like, if it's not physical distance, it could be emotional, but this person, like, there's such a, a large gap that I'm seeing here, like, energetically. So, like, this person could feel like, like, something feels unattainable or very far away. Like, that's kind of the energy that I'm getting here. So, they're looking at you as, um, you know they're spying on you, they're very curious about you, but they're like, how do I close this gap? Or like, how do I, uh, you know, reach out? Or how do I communicate to uh, Libra here? And there's a lot of uh, confusion when it comes to what to say, or how you will respond. What's the three of cups, the hanged man? Okay, yeah, so very stuck in their thoughts, two of cups, and the death card. This is someone who has a regret for how they treated you or how things transpired between the both of you. Here's why there's a fear of communication. They feel like something is over, but they're holding on to it. And because they're holding on to it, they have this urge to reconcile or communicate with you again, but they feel like that's far-fetched. They're still thinking about you. And with the Two of Cups, they, they love you. They feel extremely connected to you. But, you know, the Death card lets me know that something has changed in this dynamic and they may feel like, um, you know, they're, they're being delusional or there's some sort of illusions that they are, you know, having a hard time seeing past. And with the hanged man, it's like they, they now understand something that you were trying to explain to them, or they now understand your perspective on this connection, but they're, <clears throat> excuse me, why am I choking up here? <coughs> mm -mm. Excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. I, I don't know what that was about, but um, what I was trying to say here is this person has a fear of communication that's coming in very, wow, very heavily. And I'm specifically getting that for your sign here. Like they're thinking of you, they feel connected to you, but they're like, well, something is over. And is it, is it really realistic of me to think that I can solve this again? Or, or I will get the opportunity to speak to Libra again. Yeah. Ace of cups and the queen of wands. Okay, guys, wow. Completely lost my voice during your reading, and uh, it's, a, it's a little bit of a tough message to get out here, so I could, I could see that this um, person here is having a very tough time uh, communicating with you, even finding the right words to say. So we do have the Ace of Cups, but we have the Queen of Wands here, um, clarifying the Ace of Cups. So as I was saying, guys, with the um, Three of Cups and the uh, Queen of Wands, for some of you, there may be another person or some sort of interference in this connection here. Okay, so again, a third party doesn't have to be another lover. It could just be like a friend, a family member, but there's some sort of interference that could have caused an ending between the both of you. And this person is keeping tabs on you and they really want to speak to you. But again, they feel like they can't, so they could feel restricted or they feel like that is not the right thing to do, especially if they have some sort of guilt associated with that. Okay, we have the Three of Pentacles and we also have the Two of Swords, yeah. It's like, it's almost an energy of when this person thinks of you, they're like, I wanna work something out. I really wanna speak to Libra, but I'm so confused on how to go about it. Two of Swords could also just be someone who is who has like a lack of direction because Two of Swords could be when you're not seeing something clearly, so you're not able to make a decision here. 
But mainly what I'm getting here, Libra, is this person really wants to communicate with you, but they don't know what to say. And there may be something that you made very clear to this person, like kind of like, don't speak to me or, you know, I don't really want to continue this relationship because there's an energy of them feeling like you are fed up with the situation or your back is turned towards them for a reason where they feel like they can't really do anything but watch you from afar. That's mainly what I'm getting here for you guys, okay? Um, so moving on to Scorpio. <clears throat> okay. Scorpio. So who is thinking of you and why? So let's start off by seeing if we can uh, figure out their zodiac sign. Okay, so it could be an Aquarius that has you on their mind. Could be a Libra. We have Libra again. And we have Cancer. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. Why is this person thinking of Scorpio? Queen of Cups. Okay, so you're definitely on their mind. It's someone who has a lot of love for you, okay? But there is a back and forth energy. So Two of Pentacles could be someone who's in the process of making a decision. It could be someone who is focused on you, but they're also focused on other things, such as like career or, you know, uh, family, friends, that sort of thing. But they feel like they have a lot on their plate. But, you know, despite that, you're still on their mind here. Okay, so let's see. Why is this person thinking of you? <clears throat> The sun. Okay, so for some of you, this could definitely um, <clears throat> be a Leo. I don't know what happened, guys. I lost my voice during uh, Libra's reading, and their sign was coming up for you guys. So maybe there's some sort of connection there. But um, we have the sun card. So some of you, this could be a Leo. But this person is thinking of you, and when they think of you, <clears throat> they feel like you make them extremely happy. Okay, the sun is a very positive card. They may also feel like there is something that is being illuminated to them in particular about this connection. We have the temperance, so it could be a Sagittarius, but it's someone who feels like they are at ease when they're with you. They're, they may even feel like you guys work very well together. Five of Swords, okay. What's the temperance, is it? <clears throat> Four of Wands, yeah. This seems to be someone who wants to restore balance with you. And Four of Wands could be reconciliation. Um, and because it's clarifying the temperance, but we also have the Five of Swords, this may be someone who wants to resolve a conflict with you. Like there could be something that you guys are not seeing eye to eye on and they really want to, um, you know, fix that. So like if, it, you know, right now when they are thinking of you, they feel like you guys are not on the same page and they may even be reminded of some sort of argument or a conflict that you guys had is pretty much what I'm getting here. Um, but they do want to restore balance here. They do want to come together with you, but it's giving me more so like um, reconciliation energy or feeling like, okay, I've had my time to be upset about what has occurred, but I'm ready to find a solution or I'm ready to, you know, fix what has occurred between the both of us. Seven of Swords, okay? So for some of you, what could be illuminated to this person is some sort of sneaky behavior. Whether that's on your end or this person's end, they definitely feel like there's some sort of like, um, there was some sort of strategic behavior involved in this connection. What is the Seven of Swords? Okay, Six of Pentacles. So they feel like there was a lack of um, equal give and take. They may even feel like the uh, energy that was given to them or the energy that they were giving to you was not being reciprocated at this time. But it's not like they're holding on to it. It's more so like wanting to find a solution for it or wanting to overcome the conflict here. 
And just being completely transparent, Scorpio, again, this is just how they are, what they're thinking or their perception, but they may feel like you're being secretive at this time or there's something that you're not really revealing to them um, intentionally with that Seven of Swords. And Six of Pentacles could be an energy of <clears throat> either this person feeling breadcrumbed in a situation or them feeling like during the time that they were, you know, in a bond with you or connecting with you, they feel like they did not have your undivided attention here. Queen of Pentacles, yeah. Definitely wanting to restore this connection because it's like, yes, there is some sort of frustration or an energy of feeling a bit fed up with how things have, um, you know, transpired between the both of you. But it's like they're they're more solution oriented at this time, kind of like I'm ready to overcome this obstacle or I'm ready to, you know, um, like let go of what has been affecting me. I don't see it as someone who's trying to like hold a grudge. Nine of Pentacles. It's interesting because the Five of Swords is being clarified by the Nine of Pentacles, which is someone who is like conflicted about being on their own. So this person could feel like they made a decision to, uh, you know, separate themselves from the equation or they told you that they wanted to be on their own, but now they're reevaluating their decision or thinking, did I make the right decision to begin with? Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Here's what I see, um, Scorpio. This is someone who feels like they've been very guarded towards you and they feel like they needed some sort of time to focus on their self, but they're willing to fight for this connection. I will say as much as they're willing to fight for this connection, there is a level of exhaustion. So this person is hoping that when you guys have a conversation or if they're connecting with you right now, you guys are able to come to some sort of a mutual agreement. Um, they're willing to hear you out, but they're hoping that you're willing to hear them out as well is mainly what I'm getting here. And with the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands, it's like they feel like they had to take time for their self, whether it's to focus on their stability, whether it's, uh, you know, just to focus on like their, you know, mental health here. But with the Nine of Wands, it, they also feel like while they were taking that time for their self, they may have came off very guarded towards you or they may view you as someone that they pushed away and now they're wanting to come back around. I'm not saying that they feel like they unintentionally pushed you away, but that's kind of the way that I'm receiving the download. Like it's like they feel like the focus was more on their self or there was something else that needed their attention. So like they were kind of neglecting <clears throat> the connection with you. And, uh, you know, now they're looking at it as, OK, I want to come together and I'm at a better place. I just hope that Scorpio and I could come to a mutual understanding. And I don't see it as someone who wants to hold on to any sort of conflict or, or hold on to a grudge. Okay, so moving on to Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. So let's see, who is thinking of you and why? Okay, let's start off by seeing if we can figure out their zodiac sign. So it could be a Cancer that has you on their mind. We have Sagittarius here. So it could be another Sagittarius like yourself. <clears throat> we have Leo. And a Gemini. Okay, so why is this person thinking of Sagittarius? Let's see. So we have the uh, Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck here. Split the deck and we have the Three of Swords. Okay. This is someone who's feeling some sort of an emotional loss, okay? So like when they think of you, they feel very broken. They could feel very hurt when it comes to the situation here. Like there may be a breakup or some sort of heartache that is still very fresh on this person's mind. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I am losing my voice here, so just bear with me. Why is this person thinking of Sagittarius? Let's see. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the Tower. Okay, so we have Scorpio energy. This is someone who's thinking of you uh, because they feel like things happened very unexpectedly between the both of you. They may even feel like something fell apart. Again, like this could be uh, you know, the aftermath of a breakup or some sort of uh, conflict that is still fresh on their mind here. But they're thinking of you because they feel like things fell apart between the both of you and it was also very unexpected. Okay, they may also feel like things moved very quickly between the both of you. Two of Cups. So this person still feels very connected to you. There's a lot of love here, but 
mainly what I'm getting is like they're focused on um, something not something that did not feel solid, something where they you know it lacked structure. So they may feel like they, you know, they're feeling connected to you. There's a lot of love between the both of you, but you guys weren't able to attain some sort of stability together. Uh, two of Swords. They're really up in their head about you here, Sagittarius. Like when they think of you, they do have emotions for you, but they're also like, where is this headed? Where is this going? You know, a lot of questions, not being able to see something clearly. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> wow. Sorry, guys. Um my throat is bothering me a bit so five of wands clarifying the tower you know what i'm getting here sagittarius like for some of you this person not only do they feel like things happened very quickly between the both of you they felt like they they feel like they were connecting with you during a very chaotic time in their life <clears throat> give me a second here guys i'm just gonna drink some water Okay, so uh, with the Five of Wands as well as the Tower here, guys, like this person feels like they were connecting with you when it was like a very chaotic time in their life. They may even feel like they had a lot going on, right? But the Five of Wands could also speak about competition. So this person may view you as someone that like, you know, you, you receive a lot of attention or they're really wanting to prove their self to you at this point. But the main thing that I'm getting is like someone who wanted something more solid with you because the way that they're thinking of you right now is I love Sagittarius or I have a lot of love for for uh, Sagittarius, but I feel like things are just not stable between the both of us and they were not stable in the past. What's the five of wands? Three of wands, okay. Yeah, and the nine of wands. This person is up in their head pretty much about the lack of structure and also some sort of like, it could be external influences, it could be conflict, uh, uh, that uh, a conflict that has uh, taken place between the both of you, but they're very up in their head about it and also feeling a bit guarded. Because something about this connection is making them feel exhausted, although a part of them wants to fight for this because their emotions are still there. What's the two of cups, the nine of pentacles? Okay. Justice. This person's viewing you as, as, you know, doing better off without them. You know, whether that's the truth or not, this is how they're viewing you. And with the justice card here, they may feel like... I'm not saying, like, it's not really coming off as, like, you know, revenge or anything like that, but it's coming off as, like, you know, this person is is viewing the situation as I did not, you know, solidify something when I had the chance to, and now that Sagittarius is on their own, I do still, like, my emotions are resurfacing now, and now I want to work on things. That's pretty much what I'm getting, because they want to make things right with you, but they feel like you being on your own is almost highlighting your importance in their life. Does that make sense? It's almost like losing you know, it takes losing something to realize what you had in front of you kind of energy. Um, could be a Libra that some of you are involved with also. But mainly what I'm getting here is this person wants to make things right with you and they want more of a solid foundation, not to sound too repetitive. Yeah, Ace of Wands, definitely focused on a new beginning here. There's still a lot of excitement and emotions, but like there's this fear here with the Nine of Wands and as well as the Three of Wands that if they don't plan, if they don't make, uh, you know, a plan here or they don't operate um, or I should say if they don't make a plan here or they don't operate from more of like a logical space or try to solidify something then things are just going to kind of flow aimlessly or or you know they're not going to be able to resolve uh, you know the current conflict here yeah a lot of spying going on as well I just see the main uh, you know uh, energy that I'm getting here to sum up your reading is someone who wants more structure and a connection and they regret not being able to have that with you in the past and they see things differently now that you are on your own or you got you guys um, there's some sort of distance between the both of you and this person could also be trying to attain some sort of information about you um, in terms of you know if you're in another connection or or you know what has changed because with the page of swords that's someone who's very curious but they're not really being direct and the reason, you know, or this curiosity is coming from a space of wanting a new beginning with you and wanting to make things right with you. And the fact that they still feel connected to you with the Two of Cups is why they feel like, okay, this is meant to be, or I want to give this a second chance, or I at least want to try so that I can say that, you know what, I did try. 
yeah, three of pentacles. That's someone who, yeah, wants to work together with you. Um, but another thing that I see here, guys, is this person may also feel like when they think of you, they feel like you're very exhausted or this connection, like you guys have gone through a lot together where they're viewing you as someone who's feeling very overwhelmed. They may be doubting that you actually want to give them another chance or you actually want a new beginning here. But in their desires, that's what I see. Someone who wants to make things right with you, wants a new beginning. And Two of Cups, their emotions have not changed. They still feel just as connected to you. They still have a lot of love for you. Okay, guys, so that's what I'm getting for you. Um, moving on to Capricorn. <clears throat> okay, Capricorn, so who is thinking of you and why? <clears throat> okay, let's start off by seeing if we can figure out their zodiac sign. So it could be a Taurus that is thinking of you. We have Gemini here. Gemini again. And Cancer. Okay. So why is this person <clears throat> thinking of Capricorn? So it could be a Virgo that has you on their mind. We have the Hermit on the bottom of the deck here. Split the deck and we have the Four of Cups. This is someone who's missing you in silence. That's a, uh, you know, a very clear message here. Not only are they missing you in silence, there's something about this person feeling like you don't feel the same way about them or you're not thinking about them or... Um, uh, you know, as much as they are. Like they're they're almost like, they feel like there's a lack of interest on your end or you're just not as emotionally invested as you once were because they're viewing you as someone where you're not really interested in an offer. They, they're also viewing you as someone who uh, may have become very impatient with, uh, you know, uh, the bond here. But what I see with the Hermit as well as the Four of Cups is, you know, someone in a period of solitude missing you and they're not happy with where they are. So they're not really in the in the present moment. Instead, they're focusing on, you know, the past with you. Hmm. Okay, why is this person thinking of Capricorn? Yeah, something has come to an end between you and this individual. So <clears throat> not only are they thinking about an ending, definitely could be a Scorpio here, but not only are they thinking about an ending, they feel like so much has changed between the both of you. So this could be someone who's even feeling a bit nostalgic when they do think of you or the situation with you, but they feel like things have come to an end. So it's like they're in the process of accepting an ending, but they can't help the, like, the fact that they still feel very deeply for you or more than that, they're missing you. They miss what you guys had here. Queen of Swords, yeah, this person may feel like you're frustrated with them, you know, or they just feel like you're giving them the cold shoulder at this time. Yeah, and we have the Temperance card as well. Some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius, the Empress, wow. Seems to be someone that feels like you walked away from this connection or walked away from them, um, you know, because you know your worth or you were not receiving something that you uh, desired here. Yeah. <clears throat> clarifying the five, uh, the Queen of Swords is a Five of Cups. So this person does feel like you're upset with them, but more than that, they feel like there's a lot of like disappointment. So like something did not work out the way that you wanted it to, or you clearly stated what you wanted to this person, but they weren't able to offer that to you. There's a lot of like dwelling in the past and also feeling like you're disappointed in them. Seven of Swords. They may even feel like things came to an end between the both of you because of the amount of secrets that were in this connection here. Seven of Swords could be, you know, secrets, it could be dishonesty, but they do feel like there was a lack of like open expression or there there's something here that is still being hidden. Even though things are over, they feel so like, for example, if they could be assuming, you know, you're you're up to something or they could be assuming something's going on on, on your end where they're not aware of it. But this could this could also just be <clears throat> 
someone who feels like they were never really all the way open with you or something that they hid from you during the connection led to an ending, but they still have yet to own up to it. And it's interesting because they're missing you, they're thinking of you, but I don't think this is something they want you to know or this is something that they're being very silent about. What's the Seven of Swords? Yeah, the moon. It's the secrecy in the relationship that they feel like, uh, you know, caused things to fall apart here. So whether it's, uh, you know, just uh, like secrets in the connection or the connection as a whole being a secret, they feel like there were a lot of like um, assumptions or suspicion that was raised here. And this is someone who does have emotions for you, but they're very held back. That's why I'm getting that energy of like either them not wanting to know, wanting you to know that they're still thinking about this connection. Um, but they do feel like if they were more open with you, then the, the dynamic between the both of you would have would be very different at this time. Five of Cups is being clarified by the sun. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo. There's a lot this person's realizing about you, about your patience, about your effort, now that you guys are not together. And they, there's a lot of disappointment. Like when they think of you, or, or there's, there may even be an energy of them not wanting to think of you because there's a lot of sorrow and disappointment, but then it's also like they can't stop thinking about you because it's bothering them. Like this is a lot of like should have, would have, could have energy. It's it's someone who feels like, I, you know, I could have done this differently or just a lot of regret when they think about how things transpired between the both of you, the chariot. It's interesting because like in their gut, they feel like they have to move on or they have to release what is already over. But like as much as it's over or it may be over for you, Capricorn, it's not over in their mind. Like they're still very focused on it. Like I do see that a part of them is like, hey, I need to release this or I need to move on, you know, because Capricorn, um, you know, they don't believe that you're going to give them another chance. They, they believe that you are, you have completely moved on and you are at more of a peaceful uh, uh, space now. So it's like, okay, well, I have to follow the lead and I have to move on as well, but it's very difficult for them to do. And maybe even just this week, there's a lot of thoughts coming up for this person about like the past year and just feeling very um, disappointed. That's just a persistent theme that I'm getting here. Very disappointed, wishing that they could have done things differently. And it could be someone who is really um, like, even if this separation or a breakup, you know, happened like a month ago or two months ago, like this week, they're really processing it. And they're really in their emotions about it, okay? Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer also. So moving on to Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius. So who is thinking of you and why? So let's start off by seeing if I can figure out their zodiac sign. And then we can clarify the energies with tarot. So it could be another Aquarius, okay, that you're involved with and they could have you on their mind here. Uh, we have Taurus, okay. We have Sagittarius. And Capricorn, okay. So why is this person thinking of you? of pentacles on the bottom of the deck here split the deck we have the star which is your energy hmm. well first and foremost this person's definitely thinking about a commitment um you know it could be someone that you um are in or were in a higher level of commitment with we'll see we'll clarify the energy but <clears throat> they feel like you're very special to them okay they also feel like you're extremely unique this could be just you as a person or the way that you make them feel or the or the connection that they share with you but they do uh, view you as you know very unique very rare very special and with the ten of pentacles commitment is definitely on their mind or at least attaining some sort of stability with you okay so why is this person thinking of aquarius Ace of Pentacles. 
this person wants to invest, you know, in this connection here. This person is wanting like a, to offer you something stable. And it's interesting that we did see the Ten of Pentacles. Now we're seeing the Ace of Pentacles here. This is someone who is thinking about you because they have an offer in mind. When they think of you, they feel like you guys can actually attain something very stable together here. Page of Wands. So they, you know, this is like a new exciting opportunity or some sort of communication coming in for you that you will be happy about. And then we have the Two of Cups. Wow. Aquarius, this person feels extremely connected to you. I feel like they're they're kind of looking at you like I'm really falling for you or I am in love with you, but I want something more stable here. So this person could be like asking you out or they're, they're wanting like a title on a bond that you guys already share here. Another thing that I see is like this person may be um, different from your usual type or I could just be picking up on like differences in the connection like... Um, you know, maybe like the mindsets or like, you know, because um, something about difference is being highlighted here. But mainly what I'm getting is this is someone who wants um, something very stable with you. So like, it seems like it could be someone you're connecting with, but they want to solidify what's going on between the both of you. Ace of Pentacles, yeah, Nine of Pentacles. You're showing up in a very abundant energy to this person. You're showing up as very independent. Um, but I feel like, again, this is kind of something that they admire, but it's also making them gravitate towards you. Like this could be someone who uh, feels like they have always been in codependent relationships or they have always been the one to put forth the effort in relationships. But something about um, you, feel like it feels more solid or it feels more fair. Ten of Swords, The Fool. So this could be a brand new beginning after an ending, whether it's an ending with you or an ending elsewhere, guys, because it doesn't have to be that, you know, you and this person um, had an ending. But with the Ten of Swords and the Fool card, it's almost like you're a breath of fresh air. There's something difficult that this person had to, uh, uh, you know, uh, complete like a like a difficult cycle. And it took them a while to process the ending. But now they're ready to, you know, move move forward or move on. It's almost like they feel it's like a dream come true or like something feels too good to be true here. So they, there's an energy of them taking their time. What's the page of wands? The eight of cups. Okay. And the four of wands. So for some of you, this could be reconciliation if it's not new love. Because with the eight of cups, that could speak about walking away or emotionally detaching. But in like the way that I'm receiving the download, is there something this person had to close out or something that they completed and they feel more ready to pursue a connection with you. So with the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Swords, this person could have walked away from another situation or maybe it was a long distance union and they're and they're able to relocate now. Like it seems like this is someone who has um, had emotions for you for a while, but they weren't able to entirely, you know, like solely focus on you uh, once upon a time. And now they feel like they, they're able to give you their undivided attention. And with the Four of Wands, that's someone who is thinking about a higher level of commitment, possibly even marriage. Two of Cups, the Tower. Wow. The Ace of Cups. Yeah, guys. I actually see this as a very positive reading. It's just that um, they have had to walk away from something or they have had to make a choice that was very difficult, but they feel like their happiness lies with you. Like you are who they desire. You are who they want to be with. And Two of Cups, you know, mutual emotions here. So this person knows you're thinking of them. They do feel like you um, are feeling the same way about them. You have love for them. But with the Tower as well as the Ace of Cups, this offer may be very unexpected. Um, you know, and with the tower, this could also be like divine intervention. This person may feel like there was a pause in this relationship where they had to kind of, um, you know, take some time away from you to figure something out or walk away from something else in order to, you know, have a new beginning with you and have it be stable. But I see this as something that you would want to invest in. Um, Nine of Swords, okay. The King of Wands. Very passionate um, about you as well. Fi they find you to be extremely attractive. Queen of Cups, yeah. A lot of love for you. What, a, what are we? Three of Wands, yeah. That's planning for the future. But here's what I will say. They were up in their mind about, you know, making a move towards you for quite some time here, Aquarius. And they were also up in their mind about a decision that they had to make. So to sum up your reading, this is someone who has made a change or they've walked away from something and now they feel more ready to pursue a connection with you. This may be someone who is very hesitant to make a change, but they are realizing that you are who they want to be with. You are who they desire. And I see this love offer or this confession almost kind of uh, catching you off guard here or something that you don't expect. Okay, guys. So that is what I'm getting for you. Uh, moving on to Pisces.
<clears throat> okay. Pisces. So who is thinking of you and why? Let's start off by seeing if we can figure out their uh, zodiac sign. So it could be a Gemini. Okay. It has you on their mind. We have a Scorpio. It fell on Scorpio. We have Gemini again. And we have Sagittarius. Okay. So why is this person thinking of Pisces? Could be a Leo. Okay, guys, we have the Sun card. Split the deck. We have a star. Wow. Very powerful, Pisces. This person, they, wow. They look at this connection as, um, they could feel like it has affected other areas in their life, but in like a positive way, they may feel like meeting you has opened them up. Like it, it's kind of made them more open-minded or it's, um, they, it's almost like a, they're seeing things in a new light. They literally feel like you could be like um, a breath of fresh air to this person or it's, it's deeper than that though. I'm more so getting it as someone who feels like, you know, this is my person or this is who I want to be with. And there's a lot that they've realized about their self while connecting with you. Could be an Aquarius also. There's a very healing energy that you exude because when they think of you, they feel very at ease. They may also feel like they could just be their self around you with absolutely no judgment here. Okay. Why is this person thinking of Pisces? This person is obsessively thinking about you, Pisces. It's almost like they feel they can't stop thinking about you. Like this could be someone who wakes up and they're like, today I'm not going to think about Pisces. And then that's exactly what they do. <laughs> like they, it's, um, yes, it could be obsessive thoughts, but it could also be someone who feels very attached to like a situation with you or they're really wanting like a specific outcome here. Okay, I can also read this as someone who is like um, battling, okay, some sort of like something on their own, whether it's like addictions, whether it's like, um, you know, trying to see past illusions and mindset of fear here. Uh, we do have Capricorn energy and justice, so Libra. They want to make something right with you. You know what this, you know what this person's obsessing over? Doing the right thing or doing something um, the right way with you. So if it's like not about fixing something, right? Not all of you are going to be in a conflict with this person or maybe there was not a disagreement, but it could just be like wanting to do things the right way or the, or what feels like the right way in their books. The hanged man, there's your energy. This person, wow. I feel like this is someone who is not only thinking about you a whole lot, there's like an energy of them wanting a specific outcome here or they're focused on, okay, this is what I want to do and I really want it to work out. You know when you're thinking about a situation, you really want something to happen and you can't stop thinking about it? That's kind of the energy that I'm getting here. They may even be um, having like a shift in perspective, seeing things from your side here. The lovers, wow. It's like such an intense connection that they feel with you. You know, the passion here is, you know, off the charts, the attraction off the charts and the emotions absolutely off the charts. But with the lovers, of course, you could be dealing with a Gemini. This is someone who feels so connected to you. But like I said, as I opened your spread, there's something that feels so different or they know that they need to make some sort of a change here. I'm not saying they're not making the change, but it seems to be like a very large choice. So like they have to decide and then it wouldn't be like an overnight process here. Five of Pentacles, Six of Cups. It could be someone that is missing you at this time. So maybe you guys are not communicating or um, they are not communicating with you as much as they would like to. And with the Six of Cups, they, again, guys, like the main thing that I'm getting here is someone who feels very connected to you and their emotions have never changed. Six of Cups is someone feeling very nostalgic. They could be reminded of like, um, you know, old, like they could be um, reminded of like, you know, old memories that you guys share together and they're constantly receiving signs about you is something that I'm seeing very clearly here. 
But I feel like, yes, there is a very intense connection, but there's a choice that needs to be made. This person is tempted by you. Like, it's it's almost like they're willing to risk it all right now, Pisces. Like, if I, you know, that's, that's kind of the energy that I'm getting here because it's like they... Um, not only are they like obsessing over the situation here, it's like they're willing to do what it takes to make something right with you. And it's like very intense. So maybe you feel this energy as well, but they feel like when they start thinking about you, they just can't stop. The Emperor. Okay, so this could be someone who's in a position of power. It could be an Aries. The Two of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone who wants to be in control or take control of a situation, but they're figuring out the right approach. And the reason, like we have the two of pentacles and the lovers, it's someone who's trying to figure out the right thing to do or the right way to go about something because they don't want to mess anything up between the both of you. And I do see the five of pentacles and the six of cups. So they may feel like in the past they weren't, uh, they mishandled the situation or they were kind of handling the situation in a very careless manner where now they're like, okay, I want to do things the right way. And even if you, if there is some sort of distance here between you and this person, or you feel like this connection is kind of flatlining or there's some sort of stagnant energy, what I see on your person's end is their emotions um, have been growing. Their emotions are um, still the same. If not, they feel more deeply for you. And I feel like it may have um, required some sort of distance for this person to realize how uh, intense this connection um, you know, is. And for some of you, this is very specific, but this person may have um, requested a break or, or some sort of, um, or, or want to take time for themselves because their emotions were overwhelming them. That's literally how intensely this person feels for you. And I see that very clearly. Like they feel so intensely for you that they sometimes need to like, you know, take a break or like their own emotions overwhelm them. Ten of Wands. This person may feel like, you know, um, you're viewing this connection as maybe um, like you feel burdened by it or you feel like something was very like tedious or or you um, had to put forth a lot of effort, but you did not, you know, get or receive what you wanted in return. Yeah, King of Cups, they, they, that's what they feel like is your energy because the King of Cups is your energy, Knight of Pentacles. They're hoping you're open to you know, giving them another chance, but they also understand if you are going to take your time with it or you're not going to want to move as quickly as they are. Because this is someone who feels very ready to reconnect with you or pursue something with you, but they know that you may not feel the same way. It's someone who's willing to be patient with you, but it's because they're aware that you had to go through a lot with them or in the past things felt very heavy where it's like, okay, I am thinking about a reconciliation, but I also have to be realistic about it. Okay. So that is who is thinking of you. Um, I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.